We're excited to have everyone here for another episode of Poker Time. Except for you, Jeremy. Yeah, well, he knows. He knows what he did. This is, of course, a continuation of Vlogger's Paradise. It's much like Gangster's Paradise, except a lot less cool. There's Stuart with Jax. I'm not sure that he has a vlog, but he does have a big pocket pair. And he's uh, been a relatively conservative player, except for his blind raises under the gun. Here's Matt Vaughn. That's our vlogger. I mean, he's not our vlogger, but you know. No, he belongs to us. Then Isan has a pretty big hand here, too. He decides just to call as well. Reasonable to call or three bet yep. there. You can definitely three bet that. Get a lot of action. He did. But find a call in position Stewart's on the Stewart's a big favorite for three way with Jax, except not anymore. Yeah. That's a really bad flop for Stewart because he's not going to put his opponents on aces as frequently when there are two on the board. It's kind of unlucky. I mean, I guess it's good that both aces came out at least instead of just one. He, I guess he's going to check either way. Why though. would that be good? I don't know. Just explain, because. Explain that I have no actual That's the answer opposite of that. what I just said. Yeah, no, it, it's a and good And what point. I said feels right. No, no, you're right, and I'm wrong. <laughs> okay. I just meant, I was more thinking like, um, you know, there's, just, there's only two aces left. There are only two bad cards from basically in the deck, and they both came out. A jack would be really brutal because Matt Vaughn would make the nuts and Stuart would make a really good full house. Isan, of course, can't yes. fold here. And uh, Matt Vaughn is running to, is drawing to a chop, the case jack, or running clubs. Stuart probably can't call when there's a bet in a call. Is He's ahead some of the time, but future action is going to be so hard to continue against. He's on calling there. It makes it tough to call, for sure. There's that favorite of Jonathan's, the split screen right there. For Do a love second. that. This is kind of a break. Now, Isan decided not to raise on the flop where he really could have. He could have. I wouldn't have hated to raise there. He could rep club draws a little bit by yep. raising there. He might induce against club, club draws, and he's almost always going to have the best ace um, since Stuart checked. Matt for sure thinks he has the best hand right now. Of course. He's probably, just betting straight for value here. Probably a fear of Isan's is six is full. That would be the most legitimate yep. fear. I think so. But of course, he cannot fold. He could still raise if he wanted to, although that would look very strong, and he might fold out the majority of worse hands. Yeah. This is why if you're going to raise, you kind of have to do it on the flop. Yeah. You get to rep the uh, club draw, and it, it comes off as weaker. It's going to make the call. Seems perfectly fine. I think both these guys think they have the best hand most of the time. Absolutely. I expect Vaughn to go for value on the river. Now, that's not a great card for Vaughn because Isan made a full house on the turn of the river some of the time. Sure. He wanted a non-Broadway card if it wasn't going to be a jack. But at the same point, you know, Isan can have suited aces and things like that very easily here. And uh, I think Matt Vaughn's supposed to go for value. I don't mind to check because clubs missed. Yeah. Like, Isan doesn't have that many suited aces that he's going to actually call a big bet with. Isan's more likely to bluff with missed clubs than call with ace deuce suited here, I think. I mean, I think Isan is probably going to call with ace deuce suited, though, right? I don't know, man. It's a pretty tough line to, to be up against when Vaughn called the under-the-gun razor, then out of flow goes bet, bet, bet. I mean, you did see Isan call down in the last episode, right? I'm saying as Isan, if I were there, I would be very oh, okay. scared if I had ace deuce suited. Oh, yeah, for sure. No, you can only beat a bluff. He's going for value. Let's see how much he bets. And Isan doesn't love it. Just like that. This is what they call a knit roll. Yeah. Says he never folds. He's right. It's only 385. Matt's trying to get called by the. Not uh, sure he's good. He's like, oh. Look at his face. <laughs> <laughs> that is a beautiful expression. <laughs> Yep, that's the, uh, I've just been knit rolled. <laughs> <laughs> Keep the camera on him. Let's see the pain develop. Every, every other... Fast play your big hand, huh? That <laughs> <laughs> be trips over trips. Yeah, he's right, though. That's definitely a spot where a raise on the flop could have gotten it all in. Yep. By the river. Every hand that's better than Matt's, except for Ace Queen, would have called instantly or raised. Ace Queen's the only one that might have even slowly considered. Yep. And that's the one that he had. So I think that was a little bit and annoying at, for Matt. And look at Isan's session so far. Yeah. Almost four thousand dollars up. That is pretty good for your first poker time. The 
combined value of the other players who are up in the session is five hundred and seventy-five dollars. <laughs> he sends up three point seven k. This is hour three. Well, I guess it's not. It's hour two. Yeah, but still, it's kind of crazy. It's been running good. Stewart's gonna give it another shot here with the ace jack. Looks like Matt Vaughn's got a calling hand. Calls fold. Ken's calling a seven off on the button, because why not? Well, Ken steals a shocking amount of the time successfully yeah, on this show. Yeah, not a huge fan of this call. No, me either. Elwood with the great. Makes it work. Elwood's got a great hand in the big blind, and he flops well here. Yeah, he sure does. Reasonable flop for Stewart with the uh, backdoor nut flush draw on top of right. Broadway draw and second pair top kicker. He just doesn't want to get raised, which is why he yeah. checks, I believe. Everybody checks. That's a safe card. Ken makes a seven. Ken's got to love it. Now, Elwood's got to believe he has the best hand. Almost always. Pocket sevens just got there. But besides that, it's yeah, so hard I mean, for him to have the worst hand. Elwood almost always has the best hand. Going to start betting for value. This should get a call out of Stewart. I agree. Stewart very methodical. Kind of like a murderer. That's like a, one. Like, that's like a, one. Like a quality murderer, not yeah. like one. Uh, not like a garbage murderer. You know. Yeah. No, the, yeah. The guys who are getting Whoa. Stewart just wow turns, turns into a nice fold. Actually, what a fold by Mister Stewart, and somehow the Ken. opposite can be said for Ken. Ken is drawing to well, he's got I don't know sevens about that call, and Ken. kings only. Bingo, bango, bongo. Wow. Ken gets there again. That's why. That's how Ken does it. I think that call in the turn is very bad. Questionable. Yeah, but it worked out. I mean, Elwood pretty much always has a hand with a seven in complete jail when he bets the turn. It's possible Ken thinks that uh, Elwood's going to have to check a lot of the river, though. Like, if Elwood has a jack, he might be betting. Elwood bets 100 while Ken's got the nuts, so. He's obligated to raise. That is the law. Elwood makes top two. He's going to find out where he is. Look at his. He knows what's happening. Yeah. He's like, oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Raise to 350. He probably thinks Ken has ace jack. Ace 10, Ace Jack. Not a surprise for the Tells expert. Nice. <clears throat> I think the tell in that hand was when Ken raised him on the river with the nuts. I think that was probably the tell. That, I was, think that was how Elwood knew that he was beat. I also think you could take a, a photograph of Zach Elwood after that hand and caption it screaming on the inside. <laughs> I hope someone does. Make it happen, people. Yeah, we know. We, we're Twitter friends with him. We'll tweet it at him. Yeah, absolutely. He'll probably retweet it, too. He's got more followers than we do. Get it out there. Make it happen. We got we to gotta eclipse that guy. That's my next goal. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, I was doing this. Yeah, I know. Red Bull. I had a seven, so I heard. Oh, apparently, that's why I stayed in. Yeah. Well, that was a hell of a hit because there's a two out of for the king. Because I had a king. Oh. <laughs> Good hit. Ah, oh, Los Digitales has a real hand on the button. I mean, it's a real it hand, but it's not the most fun to play. But of course, obligatory it, race. It's a pretty fun hand to play on the button, though. Like if you just get only called by the big blind, you're fine. Oh yeah, you love having ace nine offsuit. You know, you hit an ace. It's not that different than having ace queen. It's a little different. Okay. Is this just gonna check all the way down, or is Stewart gonna take a shot? Well, this is the time to take a shot if he's going to. All right, I like this. It's probably gonna work. I it's don't a good see board for him. I mean, Dan could put Stewart on the exact type of hand he has, but there's so many elements of that board that Stewart could have hit and be betting. He could bet any pair at this point. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't think Dan should be calling very often when the 10 of spades comes. I think folding and raising, either one is probably better than calling a lot of the time against Stewart there, where Stewart's going to be, be betting a lot of second and third pairs and stuff. That was just like a classically played out hand. You see that all the time. The aggressor checks back. Yep. The other guy's like, I guess I'm going to bet when the guy checks back. Hope you fold. And it works. I always hate being the guy who bets there in the moment because you're like, yeah. this looks so obvious. It's so obvious. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, it still works sometimes. It does, just like there. There's some players it never works against, by the way. Right. 
<laughs> you gotta, Some players are always you calling to figure when they out check who bag. those people are and not, yeah. not do it. All right, Joseph's got the seven deuces. Sometimes he gets a little wiggly wangly with it. He gets a little it, squirrely but sometimes, but he decides against it. Matt Vaughn with the queen four off. Not squirrely either. Isan, we didn't even give him the chance to be in the camera. Dan could open this, but there's no need to. But need is not part of the digital Dan vocabulary. He's all about want and desire. Yeah, he's a hedonist. As opposed to Stuart, pure asceticism. Brewer with the queen six suited. I gotta believe he's gonna defend here. This is why you open the king six suited. Look at this! What a beautiful, dream. beautiful spot. You you can't ask for a better spot than six, this. Six six deuce. Let's go. Close enough. Yeah, basically good. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody has a backdoor flush draw. Digital hands like I would have liked this flop last time. He's gonna check it back. Oh, well, the camera. Oh yeah, there it is. Sorry, there goes. I believe the camera. Never My believe. Bad. Never believe the camera. Now, Dan probably thinks he has the best hand a lot of the time when that eight pairs. But now that Brewer's betting, maybe not. I mean, Brewer can have a nine. He can have an eight. He can have a four. He can have a pocket pair. He can By have the way, a club draw. He can have an open ender. Dan could get crazy and think, well, he could have ace. I mean, Dan's not going to call with king six very often, no. right? He could raise. Yeah. He could he could float with king six and bet the river or raise the river. That's true. That's although, pretty sweet. Although Brewer has plenty of trips in his range, so it's probably not the best time. To I mean, do it. yeah, Dan would be repping an eight specifically that he checked back on the flop, which is right. possible, like or, ace eight or something, or ten a full eight house suited of some type. Yeah. But, you know, usually he's going to bet those things on the flop. So Dan should stop raising, I guess, because he's just going to get bet into and fold. Well, he's going to keep... It's not the raising. It's the check backing. Yeah, that's the check backing him. is the problem. Yeah, if he just bets those flops, he's usually going to win. He could have so much money right now. I mean, he doesn't care about money. He cares about pride. It's a completely different thing. And and desires. And, it, and wants. And wants. <laughs> <laughs> Which are different than yeah. desires, to be clear. Matt Vaughn with that unusual folding style... What's unusual about it? The way he like he carries the cards further than most players do, he and puts then, him, he puts, then him puts him between, like a spin into the middle. He puts them between his index finger and his ring finger and flips them in that way. That's how he does it. Yeah, it's unusual. I do it like that once in a blue moon when I'm feeling a little, little frisky, a little saucy. Yeah, yeah. Start with the six four suited. You want to flip one before the flop? You can choose mine, and I can choose yours. Fair. <laughs> All right, now we're talking. This is Wild West poker rules. They're going to show a card. All right. Pick which one you want. This one. We should do that. We should do, love that it. do that in a big pot. Oh. <laughs> Way ahead. This is good stuff. Yep. <laughs> well, now. <laughs> Joseph just betting right into him when he's, since he's showing the four hearts. It's a cool play. Yep. He can have a flush. Stuart can't. Playing, is that how this works? No, we're just playing the hand now. <laughs> <laughs> Best hand Stuart could ever have is Jack Six, which he's not going to show up with pretty much ever. Maybe Jack Six suited. <laughs> the other ones. I fold. <laughs> this is not a good other card. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. I was like, at yeah, best you can have Jack Six. I think I like my chances. That was cool. Yeah. Stuart uh, got himself in a little trouble there where his hand was very easily capped as yeah. he showed the six. Of course, the flop made it great for Joseph since he had a hardness, since he was showing the I heart. hope Joseph would have bet if he actually had a flush. I hope he would have done it. That would be great. Yeah. It makes sense because Stuart's kind of, let's say Stuart somehow had jack six suited. He might check back anyway when he sees the heart. Yeah. Because it just doesn't, you know, he knows he can get pushed off the hand a lot, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's the best $35 he ever lost. <laughs> All right, Dan, let's watch you check and then fold. He's going to start by raising the king 10 suited, which hard to have an objection to. Preflop raisers have struggled the last few hands. They've been getting owned, destroyed by the big blind. Oh, we don't know what Matt had. It was 9-7 off, and he folded. That seems a really? bit odd. Out of it was 9-7 off? Yeah. Huh. Seems like a pretty tight fold. It does. Well, this is a hand that Dan's probably going to check back again, but he's not going to fold if Joseph bets into him on the turn. Dan's oh, he's actually going to bet. Gonna bet. Maybe he just thinks this board's better for him, so he's betting it. Sure. I just don't know if there's a ton of value there. I agree. Joseph has to have a 5 you can have, this could be in your checkback range. I completely agree. Like you're gonna have some other hands you're gonna check back and 
Chicken back at King. Some of your complete air misses that you just yeah. decide to give up on right away. Some of your nutted hands you can check back. And, you know, you can bet a reasonable amount of aces. And probably no kings. You probably shouldn't bet any kings. Um, probably not. You're going to bet some gut shots, probably. You can maybe bet specifically king-queen to get called by weaker kings, but that's still ambitious. Mm -hmm. I think that's. I think it's okay, though, to bet once when you have second pair on an ace-high board. I mean, it's to, I, mean it's, I feel like but it's, I, it's a little game You're not really disaster. getting called by anything you want to get called by. I mean, you know, you're getting called by all one pair of hands, right? They're all calling once. I don't know if they are. It was ace king five, right? Yeah, if just five nines. is gonna if he has a five, he's gonna call though. A right? five, yeah. Maybe okay. maybe, maybe something not. like two nines, he's just gonna fold yeah, though. I think that's true, because he doesn't have as many outs. That's probably true. Alright, here we go. Queen five suited for Joseph. Matt Vaughn with the hammer. Matt Vaughn, the least tan vlogger we've ever had. Wow, you are just rude. Look at those arms. He is not folding seven deuce. All right. He'll show you arms. He's gonna raise with seven deuce. This is Vlogger's Paradise. Hey, careful, man. <laughs> no, I, I gotta pay royalties have, on that. I have, I'm tone deaf. It's fine. It won't get caught by anything. Great. Okay, so Joseph decides to defend with the okay, queen five these are from Okay, Joseph wow. flops a monster hand. The whole world for this Joseph. This is the worst time for Matt Vaughn to make a play with seven deuce. Boy, if Va Matt Vaughn catches a 10, he may slow down, but he's never gonna be able to fold. All we time. are not playing the seven deuce game, by the way, in case yep. you were wondering. This is just because he wants to do it. He's a vlogger. You know, this is the kind of stuff they do, right? That's a terrifying board to bet into when you don't have any of it. Also, when Joseph opens the <laughs> button and then calls. Well, he does have a gut shot. Joseph just That's calls. No good. He could decide to raise. Oh, for sure he could raise. He, he, he'd be raising to go with it, but he can wait and see if he gets there. Or, well, okay. Well, a he king, not get a there. king is a card that Mafon might be able to win on if he bets big enough. You have to bet really big, though, with Joseph's hand being what it is. Joseph's hand is way too good to fold. I mean, if, if Matt... How much is he going to bet? If Matt bets pot, I don't think Joseph's getting the right odds to draw to the river against against the value. Now, of course, if there are bluffs, then it changes the equation. I mean, if Matt bets pot, Joseph should just move in, right? He's got a perfect size stack to do it. He can have queen 10. Matt almost never does. Let's see how much he bets here. Not near pot. So, yeah, Joseph's going to... 265. Joseph's going to have to either call or raise here. I like a raise more than a call. I think you can win a lot here. I think Matt would strongly consider folding top pair in this spot if if Joseph raised on the turn. Yeah, if Matt had ace king and Joseph yeah. raised, it looks like Joseph so strong. turned two pair or flopped a straight or a set and slow played it. And let's remember, if Matt Vaughn doesn't fold, it's okay. Look at all the equity Joseph's going to have against even ace king or aces or something like yeah, that. Yeah, the it's nightmare fine. is like ace ten of diamonds, but sure. you just got to live with that. Whatever. That would be bad, but you know, it's okay. Ace King of Diamonds would also be a nightmare. Or Matt Vaughn with with a with a thousand dollars behind the pot's got seven twenty five and it. Joseph could just move him in here. I, you don't have your spark on today. That's true. So I was kind of trying to watch and see if I could pick something up today. I'm very excited because the pot's big. <laughs> you could also just raise to a, a committing oh. amount. Oh wow! But he throws oh, it away. What is the jam? So hard. I thought we were playing the seven deuces. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Got it. Yeah. I thought I should have jumped in. What the fuck is wrong? Well done. Nice hand. <laughs> Nothing like making a folding hand you're never supposed to fold, and the guy shows you seven high. <laughs> wow. Now, why would Joseph fold there? Any thoughts? I think he got stuck in his head in his like. Joseph reading game thing where you know he he prides himself on reading players pretty well and you sure. saw him try to like get a read on Matt Vaughn's yes. Adam's apple he was talking about that Matt Vaughn did look very comfortable I'll give him that he did so but it doesn't matter if he of looks course. strong he has Joseph has too strong of a hand to fold but Joseph but can always just call if he doesn't want to raise he got caught up in the whole does he have yeah. it or not thing yeah the answer was not by the way yeah but it doesn't matter as you said mm -hmm. fold. Fold. Joseph's got to be reeling a little bit. I after. like that Joseph just folded the ace yeah. off in the cutoff after that play. People might take a few shots at him. Right. It's shown the seven deuce. Well, Isan definitely was going to take a few shots at him. I have a better hand than last hand. Just so you know. Matt Vaughn aware. People may take shots at him, too. He yep. is opening very light. <laughs> Jack seven off on the button is, is weak. Borderline. 
Jack eight is an easy open. Jack six is an easy fold. And Jack seven is a fold as well. It's a borderline hand. You can open it if you want. Yeah, come on. Open Jack seven suited, not Jack seven off. Anyway, Isan's going to three bet it and punish. You're acting like it's so clear. <laughs> it, you know, sometimes it is. Uh, Isan's going to punish. Matt Von folds quickly. It's not really punishing. It's just value betting. Of course. But, you know. Matt Von probably feels like it was just a play made against him. I guess Isan showed him the queens, but before that, I just felt like, ah, I, that's what I get for showing the seven deuce. Just over 14K in the pot. The turn is the four of diamonds. Hey, what is that? Speaking of turn, coming around the mountain, is oh. that the nitrogen sports poker train? I think they did buy a train recently. If you listen, you can hear its very choo. familiar jingle. Choo. And choo-choo. <laughs> Wait, there's the jingle. Nitro, ding, nitro, ding, nitro, ding, ding. nitro, 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 <laughs> nitro. Wow, that's the weirdest <laughs> ad ever all of a sudden. Anyway, Nitrogen Sports Poker Room is, uh, you know, they let us do ads like this. They perhaps do. Perhaps because they don't listen to them. Free reign, baby. <laughs> 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 nitro, ding, nitro, ding, nitro, ding, nitro, ding, nitro, ding, nitro, ding, nitro, nitro. <laughs> and as we return from that marvelous advertisement memorable we get to see that matt vaughn's v-pipping out of control we don't have any of our crazies in the game this time i suppose although ken usually v-pips a little higher than that yeah ken's uh taking it down a notch matt vaughn is picking up the slack let's see if Stuart is gonna pull a matt vaughn nope he can't do it it's like i don't even have a youtube channel all right matt you're just going to start to get a reputation. This is the third hand in a row Matt Vaughn has gotten involved in pre-flop. And Ken's going to destroy you. Each That's time just... he's had a seven, and he's never had a good seven. <laughs> <laughs> maybe seven he... deuce, jack seven off, and seven six Maybe he off. promised his girlfriend he was going to play every seven. Maybe, well, they were, maybe they started dating on the seventh the, of July, July 7th. Yeah. 1977. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So Ken checks. Well, Matt's likely to win this hand, although Ken has gotten ridiculously sticky with ace high in this some spots. This would be pretty sticky. you got to think this is going to work. I've seen it all, Jonathan. It's going to work. It's, it worked. Okay. All right, Matt. One for, well, two for three, actually. Two for three, and the big one was I just, his. I was just thinking there was no way he won with the seven deuce, but of course he did. He won that, and he won um, a lot more in this hand than he won even in the last hand when he just opened for 35 and folded. You mean lost, but yeah. Yeah. That's of course that's what I mean. You know what I mean, and the listeners know what I mean. I'm just trying the to. The viewers make sure. know what's up. Okay. You gotta. What are you translating now? I mean, it feels like I have to sometimes. <laughs> are, you, are you subtitling me? It might be. I a don't good, appreciate it. It might be a good idea. Well, that hurts my feelings. Maybe you speak better, and you don't have to get your feelings hurt. Well, how about subtitling me and not telling me? Then my feelings will be spared as well. Okay. Yeah. That's a good idea. Just a thought. Spare the weak child. Here's Stuart with the queen 10 off. I'm going to guess Stuart is a little too tight for this one, too. Yep. Although he usually blind raises under the gun. Yeah. He must be not feeling so wonderful right now. Matt Vaughn, is he going to go for four in a row? He There's is. There's no seven in that hand. <laughs> and Ken not having oh, it. Oh, it's because him and his mistress started dating on January 9th. Is his that why? His mistress. Let's yeah. be careful now. What's wrong with that? Mistress implies that, you know, there's an, that's the other woman. I know. Yeah, okay. It's the <laughs> Digital <laughs> Dan <January> calls. <laughs> if Matt Vaughn's girlfriend is watching, there is no mistress that I'm aware of. Yeah, okay. That's very believable. So, uh, four hands here. Everyone's got <laughs> something real. Elwood has the best hand. The best hand, but, you know, is Matt Vaughn going to bet into... No, I was going to say. That, that would seem optimistic. It checks all the way through. El Elwood... Doesn't have to have the best hand here. He should probably bet, though, at should, this point. He can bet, but if, checks. when he gets called, it sucks, but there's so many bad cards. I think it's just for protection. Yeah. Pure protection. Just win the pot. Yeah. It sucks to bet for pure protection, but this is a spot where I think it's warranted. Come on, look, at he's just thinking about stuff. He's like, can I take this one away? He doesn't like to give up pots, that guy. Yeah. Neither does this guy. I mean, Ken. Ken's got a fold. He thought about it, though. Digital Dan folds quickly. Digital Dan. Oh, and Elwood celebrates. Good. That was a that was a fist pump. Yeah, I am a connoisseur of poker table fist pumps. I never do it, but I enjoy watching them. Yeah, that one was like a four out of ten. You know, it was not a quality fist pump. I mean, it was cruel what you just said, but also there was a lot of truth to yeah. it. Yeah. yeah, I've seen a fist pump take a guy out of the poker room before with its momentum. <laughs> That's the type of shit I want to see. Yeah, yeah, you, everyone wants to see that, but you don't see it enough. You know what you see is a lot of 
Small time fist pumping. I fist pumped at a poker table, but it was a solid 12 years ago. And oh. I apologize to the guy immediately after. Even back then, it was my first year ever playing poker. I regret knowing you now. I was in an underground club in Brooklyn, and I, I held. <laughs> and you my fist tens pumped. held against Ace King in a big cash game pot, and I fist pumped and immediately thought better of it. Well, at least you learned. Yeah. Your son looks like he's interested. He's got the ace queen again. <coughs> Not doing a ton of three betting, Isan, with yeah. his big hands. Digital Dan loves four deuce. We know that. Oh, he made a little smirk when he folded. Did you see that? I wasn't really paying attention to his expression. Well, how are you gonna how are you gonna know what he looks like when he has it, then, man? I can see the cards. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. that's a nice advantage of yeah. this job. So uh, Ken flops huge. That's called the Ken Tastic flop, I think. Meanwhile, Stort does have a pair of sixes, and let's see if Stort just folds or hangs in there. If he was last to act after Ken's yeah. bet, he would definitely call. With players behind, he can consider folding, but he's probably supposed to call anyway. He but does Stuart, fold. He errs in the side of caution, and it works out well this time. Yep. Isan's going to call. Which I think is reasonable against Ken. Wow, there's quads. Well, I think Ken's going to win. <laughs> Me too. Ken checks it back. Interesting. And here's a... Obviously, all cards are safe for Ken. I guess there could have been certain spades that would bring a straight flush, but whatever. Oops. Okay. Did Eason just put Ken on deuces? I couldn't tell. I don't think you'd worry too much about deuces. Although Ken sometimes does bet like very middling hands on the river. I've seen him do it. Yeah. That'd be sort of a disaster if he was betting deuces. Good news, he's not doing that. <laughs> he's more polarized. Like you said, Eason always always calls. And yep. Sometimes they have quads. At least he was polarized, his son. <laughs> yeah, I don't think a deuce would have helped. Nice, no. nice check. <laughs> I think Ken could have a, a six there and bet it. I think it's possible. When the ten comes on the river, it's possible. Isan doesn't really have any tens. No, he doesn't. Although it turns out he does because yeah, he had ace queen, ace, ace ten probably. Yeah, but but you wouldn't think that ten would matter. Star checks out. <laughs> Bit of an ambitious. Well, call. the thing is, you're betting a six to get called by what? That's the problem ace with betting high, a six. I suppose. Yeah, it's I mean, all circular. It's all circular. It's hard to get called yeah. by ace high there, yeah. Well, it's Isan. I know he did. Yeah, I guess it's Isan, uh, you know, right? Seven, you know, seven, three. And the guy missed king high on another 20 bucks or something. But it was surprising that he called, right? Yeah. I was surprised. I mean, I wasn't surprised, really, because we've seen Isan call a lot. Well, now that we've seen more of this, it's less surprising. He is sticky. He's like, that stuff you hang to catch flies, and they just, like, land there and they can't get away and it, yeah. there's just like so many of their bodies just stuck to the paper and then you make fly paper and then you make fly soup <laughs> you don't actually no that's not what you do at all you didn't do that as a kid no one did it so digital dance raced <laughs> elwood has called with two sixes he definitely could have re-raised there but stewart might be considering a three bet here with ace four don't hate it thinks better of it might have gotten through i think it probably gets through maybe elwood calls Anyway, we'll never know that it's a classic race. I love these. Sixes on the button. Slight advantage because they're on the button. Six is still feeling pretty good. Not, not necessarily feeling good, but looking good. Yeah, that's a shrimp shirt he's wearing. This watermelon. It's pizza. So uh, Digital Dan checks. And let's see if Elwood bets here. It's reasonable to bet for sure. You think you'd want to. There's a lot of bad cards, including a counterfeiting nine. Dan gets tricky sometimes and checks an overpair, but mostly he doesn't have an overpair at this point. I mean, if he calls twice, we can think he probably has an overpair, right? Yeah. Dan might have to call once. I would bet's really small. It would be nice to have a heart in his hand, but he does not. Yeah. I guess he doesn't block flush draws this way. Yeah, that's true. And Elwood turns open ended, although a 10, not so good. He would not want a 10. I think this is probably going to be a check. That's my guess. It's a weird spot. It's reasonable to bet it, but it's totally reasonable to check it to. You, you bet it to you know build a pot in case you get there. 
the five or a six, mostly. I mean, it's, it's that plus, a plus protection. Yeah, plus protection for sure. And charging the flush draws and stuff like that. Although, it'd be weird for Digital Dan to play a flush draw. Yeah, you would think you would bet the flop. Yeah. And that's a card that Owa did not want to see. Dan could choose to bluff this, especially after the check back by Owa. Dan may think he has the best hand, though. He probably thinks he's in a spot where Elwood was either bluffing a flush draw or a straight draw. I guess all the straight draws either got there or made a pair, though. And it goes check, check quickly. Elwood gets to win. Dan shakes his head. That would have been cool. Yeah. Digital Dan looks like he's about to punch somebody. I think he is. <laughs> is that what we... We didn't want any liability, so we made the camera go to the felt. Yeah, because, I mean... Dan, I, Dan's currently punching Elwood. <laughs> <laughs> I think we should show the people. Can we show the people that? Show, show them the punch. Show them the punch. Can we go back? Isabella. Can we go back and show, show them the punch? No. We no. want it. Is it the lawyer? The lawyer. Okay. The lawyer. <laughs> Kate, show them the punch. Our though. lawyer, Caitlin, is telling us we can't show the punch. Okay. Isabella, our director, is saying she wanted to, but Caitlin. Oh, okay. <laughs> Caitlin's always standing there. Matt Vaughn's raising blind. Um, Pretty good blind raise hand. Yeah, not as good when Isan's got ace king, and you're more apt to defend. Of course, your blind raise this way. Isan's been kind of getting hit with the deck so far. Yeah, that's that's sets. how you get to be up 4K. Yeah, that is a good way to do it. He's definitely getting called by Matt if nobody else calls. Yeah, for sure. Joseph hasn't folded yet. Okay, there we go. I think he's still steaming over the seven deuce and trying to think of a way to redeem himself. It's like, if I bluff with the six four, is it going to work? Am I back? Is it Joseph time again? There's no redeeming that fold, Joseph. It's all I'm over? Sorry. It's all over. There's nothing to be done. Okay, so Matt Vaughn does call, and he is dominated. Gut and, trap for uh, Isan. He doesn't love the flop, but he's... He's got okay overs in the it. gutter, though. That's not too bad. Matt has a nothing burger on the flop, as they say. I love it. Mr. Wonderful. That's oh, is that, is that from... Yeah. Okay. Quick fold from Matt Vaughn. Kind of an angry fold. Yep. That's not his normal, like... I. I Extend my arm and do that little knuckle like, forefinger like flip fold. It was kind of like, a, can you believe this guy? Yeah, this I've, dude right here. Can you believe this guy's betting right now? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to fold in such a way that everyone knows oh, how I Matt's feel. Oh, now Matt's punching Isan and Caitlin's not letting us watch. Caitlin, come on. Can we at least play the sound? Let's play this. Let's play the audio, okay? Ow! <laughs> Ow! <laughs> <laughs> That's the type of stuff you don't get anywhere else. Do you get that in the World Poker Tour? I think not. <laughs> You don't hear Vince Van Patten making <laughs> punching noises if that's what you want to call what Jonathan was doing with his mouth. I'm not sure what it was myself. It sounded like a really it, bad attempt at like beatboxing. <laughs> spitting. It was spinning noises. His son's going to fold the King Jack. And it's going to fold to Elwood, who lets it go. And Stort's got the fours. Stort looks placid. It's like, a mo like the movie Lake Placid. All I know is there's a giant alligator i think it's a crocodile what's the difference man there's a huge difference it's all the same to me man so brewer's gonna re-race with the jack 10 off this is kind of fun he blocks jacks and tens nice and ace jack and ace 10 and you know he doesn't want to just call apparently and stewart's probably gonna call two fours probably just has to although it sort of sucks it but they're deep sucks. enough they're deep enough he can set mine forgetting about everything but else but usually you just lose 90 bucks but of course yeah. it's worth it for the times that you make a lot more than that of course, Brewer doesn't have much of a hand, so it's going to be hard to flop a set and get paid. That is a good flop for Stuart. He may feel obligated to hold on for one street. Yeah, it is cut off, cut off and button. Brewer's range is not inclusive of only over pairs. He has plenty of stuff, obviously. Yeah, sure. I mean, even he's going to have all the big aces and probably, as we see, a whole bunch of other stuff. A bunch of just not believing Stuart's cut off open. Stuart's face is like, okay, so I just have to lose more money now against yeah, the overpairs. It's kind of, kind of a crappy feeling where you're like, I know it's right to call, but this is my money, and this is a really yeah. nice dinner I'm just putting in the pot. Yep. Okay. Really nice dinner in Portland. Yeah. Come on. That is not a good card for That's Stuart. That's a card that Brewer must bet. Well, this is a must bet. Yep. He's got the ace-kings much more so than Stuart does. He's got some king-queen, too. Sure. He's got king-king. 
got ace ace. He's got a bunch of kings in his range that he just chooses as three bet bluffs that Stuart would not have called the flop with. So it's a yep. really good time to bet. And I imagine this is going to work. I don't see how Stuart can call now. So yeah, sort of the nightmare Stuart. Call the flop. You're sort of obligated to, and you just got to check fold the turn. Brewer's probably not going to continue on all turns, but that's such a cherry one. Yeah, Stuart lost the really nice dinner on the on the flop, but he didn't pay the three month electric bill on the turn. You know, <laughs> gotta keep that money for that for when they come calling with their three month electric yeah. bill. I guess it's the water bill that's every three months. That would be a quarterly bill, by the yeah, way. Yeah, quarterly. Yeah, quarterly electric bill. Yeah, kept oh. that in his pocket. But that was nicely executed by Brewer. I know it was just bet, 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 but he. I don't know if it just was. I was about to say, no matter what I have. <laughs> by luck. That's, that's that sounds alright. Yeah. But uh, it, it, the king was a good card to bet, and Brewer knew it. Yep. Yeah. <coughs> Ken hasn't destroyed any worlds lately. He's, He's gonna, gonna try now. That time. Now's the time. The queen ten off. You know, a lot of people would say you can't open queen ten off open the, under the gun, but I say, welcome to Ken, buddy. Ken's like, I see an M class planet over there, and there's plenty of life forms to devour. Yeah. So let's go. I'm hungry. That's Ken. Yeah, that's his that's his voice. <laughs> <laughs> Joseph's got the digital Dan special. Well it's it's suited though, so a little less special. Was it suited the time he bluffed Snuggy or Oh, was it, it was off suit for sure. It was a black one and a red one. Okay. Joseph is reaching for the hundred dollar chips. And we are gonna see a three bet. It's an epidemic, this four deuce as an aggressive hand type thing in poker time. Well, Matt Vaughn's in a really weird spot. He's yes. probably supposed to just fold because, of course, can open in early position. Joseph decided to three bet anyway. Typically, players will just fold, but this game is kind of loosened up, and Matt is seeing something there. Look how much better Matt's hand is than everybody else's. I know. <laughs> but and I completely understand that. I fold. would absolutely fold. I think. Yep. I think you can. I think it's really fold or four bet. You can't really call. We just kind of glossed over the Brewer called with seven three suited. That oh, was yeah. weird. That was weird. We were making jokes. <laughs> Joseph shows, and oh, that's gotta hurt Matt Vaughn. Let's see his face. There it is. It's <laughs> okay, you, you got him with the seven deuce, Matt. You won't believe what he folded, Matt. Seven. Any deuce will do. You're suited, though. Matt, show him how you feel in your in your fold next time. <laughs> Express it all with your folding. He only folds that way to Isan. That's trying to work out. What was he supposed to do? <laughs> Not a great spot. Digital One not making any uh, references to uh, digital tape and audio that's been recorded digitally, which he often will, of course. He loves to talk about that. That's why they call him Digital Dan, as you know. Yeah. I mean, everyone knows that, though, right? Of that's course. Where I mean, I'm saying that. Where every, I'm explaining that. Everybody knows that, yeah. People in Thailand know that. Well, I mean... Digital Dan's friends who live in Thailand definitely know that. And his followers, just his admirers. Yeah, of which there are at least a few. Anyway, another monster flop for Ken and a monster flop. Well, not monster, no. but open ender for Brewer. I thought He's that was a flush draw. He's got the back draw, draw flush draw with it. Yeah. Nice flop for both players. Ken's definitely got the best of it right now. I think Ken's going to play King 8 for the rest of his life. <laughs> <laughs> Ken will just call. Brewer does not improve. He may check this one back. That's a pretty bad card for Brewer. Big old brick. No, hard to rep much. What, is, what are you hoping Ken has when you have the 10-9 of hearts? I guess diamonds. Yeah, you of can course. hope he has diamonds, but diamonds. that's it. But Ken probably won't check fold it diamonds. Back. And there's a diamond anyway. Brewer can now beat nothing at all. Brewer could rep the diamonds if Ken checks, but that's probably not going to work. He could also rep the ace. He, I think it's reasonable to bet here when the ace comes in, Ken checks. You could think you can get him to fold the jack. This isn't going to work, though, I'm pretty of sure. Of course this isn't going to work. Brewer could really be betting an ace, and Ken can just call with trip eights, right? Brewer would bet an ace here. Brewer bet over the pot. Oh, just under. Just under the pot, yeah. and Ken called. Easy. Oh, he, Ken, oh, Ken raised. Well, that is surprising. I don't know about raising there. I don't like that raise at all. I think he was concerned about missing out on value that he hadn't gotten before, but when the diamond comes and Brewer has aces full and hands like that in his range, yeah. and of course Brewer has flush draws in his range. Of course he does. That's that's kind of a game theory disaster raise right I there. I think it is. I think it is. Brewer's folding ace-king, right? 
I mean, his Brewer folding, not that he's ever going to show up with it, but at worst eights. Uh, he has, somehow has a worst eight. He's going to probably fold that when he gets probably. check raised on the diamond. Probably. Against Ken. I think he probably is. I thought he might uh, have an ace. Yeah. 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 When I say 25, I'm definitely talking about this one. Or something. No, yeah. no, 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 no. I don't think he really ever has worse eights, though. No. He played it. He's got aces and he's got flushes. Right, and he's going to fold his aces. aces and call with his flushes. He's definitely not folding his flushes, and he's definitely folding his aces. Yeah, that's a real problem. Folding can't be the worst thing in the world. Probably. Maybe Ken didn't realize the diamonds came in. It feels like the worst yeah. It's weird because he showed the hand too, which some of these players definitely will notice and realize that there's some opportunities on the river against Ken when he get even when he raises. You know, they can call with slightly wider hands. Well, that's gonna end this episode with a whimper, but we will see you next time for more poker time. Woo!